morning it is sunday morning i am in galveston texas um i took my i flew to michigan and drove with my mother to uh, austin texas and um the uh so she could be with my brother and his family for the eclipse tomorrow and it'll be all cloudy <laughs> But I, uh, Saturday morning, we got a chance to listen to um, the, uh, oh, Jason Cisneros and his chairman um, project. There you go. All right. So it was fascinating. So he's talking about um, special flowers, right? And... He gives this story about watching um, Bambi and Bambi and Thumper and Thumper showing Bambi what everything is and says flower sticks his head in the in the flowers and uh, out pops a skunk and he calls the skunk flower, right? And then he's you know talking about how stinky skunks are, right? And um, he talks about people who make excuses on why his you know, his consulting, consulting that work for all these other companies all over the world and everything, won't work for them because they have a they're a special case, right? And I'm like, oh man, I hear that so much, right? And um, it, but it, it got me thinking about the challenges that I come across. Um, you know, I can put my mind to helping somebody make more money for whatever right but if they don't want to I'm you know I'm spitting in the wind and uh, I'm like I just gotta turn them on to Jason's podcast right and uh, they'll and you gotta listen I had listened to this thing three times live I did it recorded driving and then this morning and I did it like two times the speed so he talks really fast <laughs> And it's funny. It's actually enter more entertaining <laughs> to listen in t to two times the speed. And I get it done faster, but I, I get a lot of what he's talking about. And, um, you know, so it's, you know, it's, it, and he's, he's talking about, he, you know, one of the shows he's talking about niche market. Oh, I'll tell you what, you can struggle and struggle and struggle. You know, it's like hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall. And then you take a step to the left or right and walk through the door. And that's what it's like when you get in the right market, when you're talking to the right people that relate to you and that need, really need and want what you have. It's, it's, it's a whole different game. Okay. And so I'm thinking, you know what? This is it. Because what it is is really, I'm, I'm in the car with my mother. My mother is, listen, my mother she votes Republican, but not for Trump, right? She's the most liberal Republican I've ever met in my life. And I didn't find this until years and years later. My mother literally <clears throat> grew up across the kitchen table from Michael Moore, the liberal producer. My mother's cousin is the PR guy for Michael Moore, right? And I'm like, I'm thinking, he's not the one that influenced him. There was somebody there. There was somebody else there, older than all of them, that... that you know, embedded him with this liberal garbage, right? And uh, but he, she's listening to Jason Cisneros, and things he's hitting on, she's listening to, and she applied. My mom bought her 20 acres in Michigan on a lease option contract, um, or rent to own, right? And she paid this guy off, you know, and uh, he was like a rears like eight thousand dollars and uh, she paid that off and that's how she got um the 20 acres right and then she bought four other properties contract for deed right and then sublet them and they paid for themselves and now she's sitting on 20 acres in michigan free and clear and she's got her teacher's pension my mom is doing whatever she wants to do whenever she wants to do it flying me to michigan to drive back down to be watch 
the eclipse. They won't be able to watch because it'll be cloudy. <laughs> but she can do what she wants, right? And so she's got this liberal bent, but she's listening to Jason Cisneros, and and he's really edifying her because she did what he's talking about. And that was awesome. That was awesome. And I got to explain to her, you know, the, the things that happened in, you know, with me um, in, in my business career, the, you know, the mistakes that made the things that happened, you know, um, you know, that caused, those are really hard lessons, but they're, they're embedded. I'll never make them again. You know, when I was in the mortgage business, I always knew what goes up's got to come down. And, uh, you know, and I, that's what got me to see financial services. But, you know, my business partner and my wife didn't see it that way. Okay. And so we got resistance. Rather than, you know, focus on the same thing, we went this way. Okay. In, in every, every way possible. Right. She felt betrayed because I wasn't with her doing loan modifications. But I'm like, you know, I'm approved with 70 different, 72 different lenders and not one of them was calling me up asking me to market their loan modification product. The banks are not on our side. And um, I ain't doing it. And she poured all into it, right? And she had a whole bunch of people that she got their money and didn't perform and they lost their properties or they got in big trouble with the, you know, with the banks because, and then they were out money and, and you know, she, she ended up having to move. <laughs> and, um, you know, but it's, you know, you got to pay attention to things, right? And, um, this Jason's, um, chairman project He's hitting on so many things, man. I wish this had been around back when I... You know, there's a whole bunch of things that I wish would have... I, I'm coming across. I wish it would have been around when I first, you know, went on my own. You know, when I got out of the military and, and started, you know, getting into business and sales. Um, this, if this would have been around, it would have made all the difference in my life, right? So now we're start. you know, I came here to say, stand up a... Um, a... Uh, Volk Rehab Program for Veterans and Ex-Felons never got off the ground, but through Jason's growth course, and I was able to adapt that to the uh, the temple flow in the Bible, um, we're going to do a business incubator um, program, right? And I got another guy that, that franchises businesses for veterans. Um, Mom was talking about in her township, in um, you know, Matt and Michigan, they don't have ambulance service. And I'm like, there's got to be, man, some entrepreneurial-minded veteran just needs to start an ambulance service. They don't need to vote on it because they'll get the calls, right? Um, and, of course, it's going to be paid for. Insurance is going to pay for it, all right? And um, if they get called out, somebody's got to pay for that. And so if somebody smart and uh, they're an EMT they just need to start you know buy a buy an ambulance get go to the bank get a loan right get a, a small business loan and uh, go through score help them help you get it together and uh, get your ambulance and you're in business in Manton Michigan right and uh, so you know that's that would solve that problem they don't need to vote on it they just needed somebody just needs to do it and that's kind of what Jason's talking about you know you you see a need and you fill it and you're in business all right uh, can't promote that enough it's every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock um, central time on uh, X formerly known as Twitter right but um, if you want to know just get back to me put a comment in, in this uh, video with your email or whatever and I'll send you the information. I'll send you the recording from uh, from yesterday. All right. Have a great Sunday.